even more ambitious in the do-it-yourself field is John Taylor of Ilford. He designed and built his own plane, and at Whitewater Airfield, he got ready to see it go up for the first time. But that's not all. At his Ilford home, John built the machine inside the house. Getting it out to be taken to the aerodrome was the best thing his neighbors had seen for a long time. The engine was easy, it was brought down the stairs. But the fuselage very nearly had to be left behind. After that, the house must have seemed quite empty. Back at the airfield, the great moment had come. It was a triumph. But the pilot was not John Taylor, because before the plane could be insured, it had to be flown by a test pilot. The owner-builder will have to wait another three weeks before he can fly it himself. He went to hear the verdict. A hundred percent said Titch Holmes. That must have been music in John's ears. 